Orioles are back in town. Should have generally good weather later this evening, but we are tracking a few scattered showers. Temperatures are nice for baseball, that's for sure, at the Inner Harbor right now. We're looking at temperatures that are running in the upper 60s to near 70, with light winds out of the south or southeast, occasionally gusting a little bit stronger, but generally light winds right now. And dry conditions currently at the Inner Harbor, down around Oriole Park. There you see it right now. We're zoomed in tight on uh, HD Doppler, but not too far away from Camden Yards. We pick up on some showers. Uh, getting into the northwest part of Baltimore City now, coming here close to TV Hill. But the biggest storm is this one down here near the uh, D.C. Beltway. That one's got a lot of lightning associated with it, and it's been tracking steadily to the east and southeast, at times showing some rotation. So this is a powerful thunderstorm. Numerous lightning strikes, maybe some small hail associated with it. Severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 545 in PG County and the far southwestern part of Anne Arundel County. That's a storm is heading south of uh, Route 50 and heading down toward uh, the southern parts of Anne Arundel County. So not an immediate threat to the Baltimore metro area, but there'll be some scattered showers still popping up until this cold front that's just to the west of Hagerstown can clear our region in the next couple of hours. Let's give it till about 7 o'clock or so this evening. Uh, notice this warm front. It's an interesting warm front. Kind of snakes its way through central Maryland. Along or east of the front, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Just to the west of the front, including Frederick and Westminster, temperatures have climbed into the 80s. And so that is an important front. You get into that warm air and the thunderstorms are a little stronger. Once the cold front goes by, then some of that cooler air we see to the north and west That'll come in here for the weekend, so the weekend will be much chillier. The problem for us is that this cold front that comes through tonight, it's not going to get very far to the south. It's going to stall, and with that front in our neighborhood, additional showers will be popping up. So a couple storms here early this evening, then it quiets down. But tomorrow morning, we see more showers breaking out across central and eastern Maryland, and they'll be with us right into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, off and on showery weather tomorrow, keeping temperatures cool only in the 50s, briefly clearing out for a time late tomorrow evening, and then another batch of showers rolls through Saturday night, early Sunday morning. We have a chance for a shower. I think we may see some sunshine here Sunday afternoon. But again, the weekend is going to be quite unsettled and a little cooler. 48 to 55 tonight. Isolated thunderstorms early for the next two hours or so, and then mostly cloudy with some fog. Tomorrow, often on showers, cloudy, cool weather, highs of just 55 to 60 degrees. Winds on the bay coming out of the north with waves averaging about a foot, so fairly light winds on the bay tomorrow, but occasional rain showers. In western Maryland, look at this, this is a chilly, almost wintry like forecast. Highs only in the mid to upper 40s for the weekend out in western Maryland. On the eastern shore, a thunderstorm tonight, a shower tomorrow, and some showers, especially in the morning on Sunday. At Ocean City, off and on rain showers through the weekend with temperatures a little below normal. Seven day forecast for Baltimore then about 57 tomorrow, 62 with the rain ending fairly early Sunday. Hopefully some sunshine Sunday afternoon, mostly cloudy skies on Monday and Tuesday. There is a chance for showers on the eastern shore and it looks like it'll warm up again toward the end of next week.